In this video, you'll hear all about Project Kindness, a simple yet meaningful project that's relevant to students of all ages. If you're interested, teachers, keep listening. Welcome to the Teacher's Playbook, a channel made for teachers by a teacher. I'm Melanie Howell, and I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. Project Kindness is an idea I had over the Christmas holidays, and I'd like to explain the inspiration behind the idea. With the Christmas holidays, lots of family in town, of course, when family's in town, you reminisce, you tell stories, and you should know that I grew up on a small barrier island off the coast of Georgia, and we were reminiscing about a friend who did a science fair project where he did real handwritten notes in a bottle and threw them into the ocean. And while I don't remember all the science of the project, I do remember how exciting it was when he started getting mail back, snail mail, keep in mind, from other countries. I remember he got something back from Northern Africa. He got one from Spain. And as we told these stories, I thought to myself, I wish there was a way I could capture that excitement in a project for my class today. And that's where the idea of Project Kindness began. As I was brainstorming ideas for ways to make a project happen, I decided it couldn't be for any certain grade level because I didn't know exactly what age the kids would be that would participate. So that's where I came up with kindness, a topic that's relevant to kids of all ages. And I also knew I couldn't really throw bottles in the ocean. I needed to come up with a way for that exciting, we don't exactly know where it's gonna go feeling and the unpredictability of getting the mail or something back, but I wasn't quite sure how to make that happen. And through process of elimination, that's how I eventually came up with this, our kindness project expressing kindness through art. What I've done is I've put together this binder and after a lesson on kindness and the importance of kindness with my fifth graders, I had each child draw a picture of what kindness means to them or their own definition of kindness. I got great, perfect fifth grade drawings. I've got one little girl that drew a picture of um, a human being kind to an animal. I got one um, picture from a child who drew two athletes high-fiving and saying good game, meaning that sportsmanship is a type of kindness. I also got a child who drew a picture of one person leaving money on a vending machine for the next person in that when he thinks of kindness, he thinks of random acts of kindness. It was a great lesson. And now I'm hoping it will become a very exciting project. What we've decided to do is take our binder and we are going to mail this with our art included to a teacher friend that I have in New York. She is going to do some kind of kindness lesson with her class. She's going to have her class add artwork to the binder, so add more kindness drawings to the binder, and then she's going to mail the entire binder to a teacher friend that she has. And I don't know who that'll be, and I don't know where they are, and then that person will mail it to another teacher who can mail it to another teacher. And um, in the instructions and the welcome at, in the front of the binder, I've made the statement, if you get this binder during the month of May, please mail it back to, and I've left my name and my address, so that my kids, before they get out of school for the end of the year, will be able to see all the artwork that's been added to the project and all the different places that their binder has been. And that's how I captured that sort of unpredictability, the fun part of not knowing where you'll get messages from. That was my new take on message in a bottle. But at the end of the day, Project Kindness is a great lesson on a topic that's important to all of us. Despite testing schedules, despite discipline problems or 
uh, philosophical differences with administration, whatever it is you might be going through, the Kindness Project is something all teachers can do. Who better than teachers to start a movement, a kindness movement? Yes. Project Kindness, I'm hoping, will really catch on. If you have any questions about the project or if you would like to participate, please leave your comments down below or send me a private message giving me your name and your school address because why couldn't we have more than one binder going out there at one time? I think there's a real chance this could even be a global thing. It could be a lot of fun for a lot of different classrooms. If you would, please give kindness a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Kindness matters.